What's up guys, Dustin McDangles back here with another video and welcome back to the Franchise Mode Rebuild series here with the Pittsburgh Penguins and Rick Rebuild. And in the last episode, we did get through the first round of the playoffs, getting through the Boston Bruins. In today's episode, we're going to be looking to get through round number two as long as we're able to make it through round two. We do not know our opponent yet, but we will find out here shortly. But before we do, guys... If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We've been growing like crazy, and that is all thanks to you guys. Thank you so much for the love and support you've been showing with comments, the subscribe button, the like button. It all helps. I do appreciate it. And if you guys like anything NHL franchise, anything whatsoever, join the channel. Hit that subscribe button. We're so close to 500 subscri subscribers. We're trying to hit it by the end of the year. Probably not going to get it, but we will try our best so you can help out by hitting that subscribe button. Without further ado, though, we're going to get into the simulation here. We're going to figure out who we're going to be going up against in the second round, as well as get some nice rest for the boys. We'll take a look at who we will be playing our opponent, as well as their lines moving forward before we get into the series. It looks like we're probably going up against the New York Islanders. At this point, oh my goodness, the Toronto Maple Leafs, best team in the East Best team in the league lose to the Rangers. Rangers came back to win the series, but we're up against the Islanders, rivaled Islanders, the payback. It has been two straight playoff runs for the Penguins ended by the pesky Islanders, and we need to break the streak here today, or at least here in the next couple of games. I do want to first, however, take a look at their line, see what we're dealing with when it comes to their team because we don't want to go in blind against the Islanders. Again, don't want to underestimate them. I'm wondering if the Leafs had injuries. Nope, they had everybody. That is insane. Absolutely crazy stuff there. But we're worried about, and also the Rangers beat them. Rangers, Panarin, Zabinijad, Lafreniere's only 83. Interesting. Islanders, this is what we're wanting to see. Bailey, Barzell, Wallstrom, pretty solid first line. Second line's also very solid. Palmieri, Nelson, Lee. Third line is also pretty good. Bavillier, Sezikis, Clutterbuck. They've got Komarov, Kiefer Bellows, and Zach Parise on their fourth. And we're down 2-1 to one after the first. Wallstrom with two. Rust with one. He's playing absolutely phenomenal. 3-1. The Islanders are up. So we're going to try to hop into this game, see if we can come back in this thing, tie it up, and even send it to overtime. We are, guys. Third period. We're down two, so we need to get goals in bunches and make it quick. So we need to be on the attack right away as Crosby through the neutral zone. Trying to get this thing started. We're going to miss the net there on the play as Hickey behind the net looks to roll out. Looks for a man wide. He finds Bailey. Bailey trying to get through the neutral zone. Dumoulin steps on him. Pollock is trying to get through. Big hit there. Oh, man. Gensel almost with a nice little steal there as Palmieri finds Bailey. Do we possibly... I was going to say, I thought... Paul Mary was on the second line. Did we maybe get a nice little cheeky injury against the Islanders? That would be a huge help in this series as we will move the puck up through the neutral zone and find Gensel. Out of there and no icing. Dobson gets around Carter. We need to get this puck back and get a shot on target if we want a chance to get back into this game. But the Islanders doing a nice job just ragging the puck as Rust with a big hit there. Wallstrom out through the zone. It's taken away by Dumoulin. Carter's there. We find Guniaroff. Fresh off the bench. Guniaroff is going to wheel around. Guniaroff. Oh, my goodness. With a nice little wrap. We saw the defenseman follow us behind the net. And anytime you see that, I'm going to take full advantage of the wrap cheese on that one. We're going to get our third line out as Verlamov unable to stop the puck in front of the net on that one. We've got fresh legs out there. Kapanen, Bluger, and Anthony Siu. And Bluger will win the draw cleanly, which is nice, as Demers. Defensive defenseman on the rush. Gonna work this puck up to the point. Gonna find that over to Marino with a great shot. Almost caught Verlamov by surprise there, but he's able to hold on for the whistle. Down below the goal line. He's gonna get run off the puck there by Dobson, but he finds it back on his stick. Gonna work that over. Holy smokes, what an absolute rip by Marino. It's Teddy Bluger down below the goal line. Finds Crosby somehow. Sidney Crosby. Out from behind the net. Can we get the wrap cheese with Crosby? Using his superpower, superstar ability. Unable. He hits the side of the net as Bluger through the neutral zone. 
He's tired. Can he get the wrap cheese? No one's there in front. Oh, looking for Joseph. Puck is out of the zone. Uh, two on one. Two on two opportunity. Pajot, nicely poked there by Marino. We got to get off to the races here. Boyle through the neutral zone. Puck falls to Marino. He still somewhat has some energy. We're going to find Kapanen at the point. Look for Boyle. Oh my goodness, you got to be kidding me. Brian Boyle, fourth line grinder on the PK. Takes the delayed one-timer shot off of a feed from Kasperi Kapanen. And somehow, somewhere, I thought the defenseman was going to pick that off. But Boyle keeps the puck on the ice far side on the goalie against the grain. And is able to hammer the back of the net. That is a huge goal by a grinder. Six minutes left to go. 30 seconds left on the PK. Tied game. I cannot believe that just happened. Is Kapanen. He's going to get that puck and go into the zone. Going to work this back up to the point. Dumoulin is there. We're just going to rip that. Try to get that on target, but does not find its way to the net. As Chris Letang. Oh, my goodness. Chris Letang wheeling and dealing out front. Ten seconds left on the PK. We're going to get a line change here and get some fresh legs out there until we are able to get full strength as Boyle and Kapanen out there. Can we win this? Maybe to Latang. I don't know if we can. Boyle is going to get tied up, but that will kill some more time off the clock as Anders Lee, Anders Lee, trying to get that into the zone. Dumoulin with speed off to the races. Brian Dumoulin with a chance. Oh, my goodness. With a, What a crazy chance. Brian Dumoulin trying to get the wrap. Cheese. Oh, he can't. He doesn't have the skill to get that in front of the net. Bad step there. Anders Lee with a chance. Ooh, finds Bailey backdoor. Oh, Dumoulin with the trip. We went in with our stick. Oh, that was almost a backdoor cheese. We're going to have to call timeout. Finds Lee. Lee tries to get that in deep as Latang is there. I'm trying to win that puck anytime there's a 50-50 on the PK. You have to take advantage of it. Just like right there. The Islanders do a good job. Where's Latang? Crosby's back. Scramble in front. Big block by Barino. Huge stuff there is Barzell. With a whip of the puck, Palmieri's going to get hit on the play there by Crosby. We kind of almost have an on-man rush opportunity. Moreno is going to try to peel off with the puck. Who comes up with it? The Islanders do. Here comes Bailey. Through the neutral zone. Nice little toe drag. Ooh, backdoor cheese. Very close. Wow, what's that? Are you kidding me? We're going to throw that around to Latang. Latang's going to find Sidney Crosby. Sidney Crosby with speed. Gets around one. Sidney Crosby. I see Marino back door. There he is. Oh, shot blocked by the Islanders. And they survived the chance there on the PK. Puck out of play will change the lines, get some fresh legs out there with a chance here. Can Boyle come up with some more PK magic? Can Kapanen find a way to get this in the back of the net? Joseph from the point. Got some no names playing some big hockey right now is Brian Boyle with the wrap. Oh, he's got those long arms. He's such a big guy. With a chance, Demers from the point. And Verlamov is going to hop on that one. Hold on for the whistle. And, I mean, at this point, we have more chances on the PK than they do have on the power play. Going to work this up to Latang. Finds Demers. Demers at the point. He's going to try and take a shot. Falls to Crosby. Latang from the point now. Trying to work it down below the goal line. Defenseman follows. Chris Latang with the wrap opportunity. Malkin is out. We're swarming all over the Islanders right now. We gotta find a way. 20 seconds left. Can somebody get open in front? Malkin's there. Malkin's gonna peel out. Malkin's got time and space. Malkin. Oh, that almost hit Pollock and went into the net right there. The boys are swarming. Bavillier is just gonna dump that in deep. Six seconds left. We gotta play decent hockey. Don't want to give this puck away. Crosby through the neutral zone. He's got one second on the clock. And that's gonna be all she wrote as we head to overtime. What a huge comeback. we got to find a way to finish this thing off in overtime. Nicely defended by Dumoulin, who finds Gensel. Off to the races. Jake Gensel looking for something. We're going to find the man at the point. Latang finds Dumoulin. Dumoulin's going to rip that on target. Nope, we're going to miss the target. But Crosby can never give the puck to Crosby. Oh, my goodness, wide open. He misses the net. Here comes Malkin. Crosby's there. And there it is, boys. The comeback is here. The game doesn't freeze anymore. The new NHL patch is huge, and we win the game, guys. 4-3 to three in overtime. What an, what an absolute crazy comeback that was. I'm just I'm flabbergasted, guys. That was insane. Missed the net. Malkin now we we're going to go for the wrap, but we Crosby was wide open behind backdoor cheese. 
to win game two, sending us up 2-0 in the series against the Islanders. We're going to hop back into the simulation and see what else we can do. What a crazy game that was, guys, as we head back into the simulation, heading to Long Island, going up against the Islanders with a chance to go up 3-0. The Lightning are up 2-0 against the Rangers, so we have to keep up pace with them as period one goes by. Teddy Bluger on the goal. Period two is over 1-1. Palmieri from the freaking corner snipes one on Rask. We're going to slow sim. The third period is Gunnar off in front of the net, able to send the Penguins up one here in the third period. Shots pretty even with the Islanders' five-on-three opportunity. Aren't able to get anything capitalized off that chance. So far, holding on. Ooh, Gensel ices the game. That is huge, guys. 3-1 up on the Islanders. This is another one we're not going to have to play, and that is huge because we are now in a chance where we can get, yet again, another sweep. We don't want to jinx it. Knock on wood. Latang's now up to 10 points in seven games. It's been a couple battles, it looks like, in the Western Conference. Both us and the Lightning are about to get a sweep in our respective series. But never say never. It's never over until it's over. But this could be all she wrote for the Islanders, if you ask me, guys. But... With a chance here, first period gone by. Guniaroff once again on the doorstep. After two, that's probably all she wrote. Three nothing. Rusty and Anthony see you on the goals. We'll quick sim period three. Four nothing. Guniaroff, what a beast, guys! That's another sweep. Uh, honestly, this is gonna be a quick episode because we've only had to play one game. Guniaroff, two goals. Tuka Rask, second start of the game. Shutout. Three assists for Jeff Carter, and the boys are buzzing into the third round. Conference finals against, oh, I don't think the Lightning got the sweep, guys. They did not. So the Rangers, can they pull off some more comeback magic? We'll have to wait and see. But the Blackhawks and Golden Knights firm grasp in their series on their respective side of the bracket. But man, oh man, guys, this is awesome stuff. That's going to be it for today's episode. We won't give away who we're going to be playing in the conference finals just yet. It could be the Lightning. It could be the Rangers. You guys will just have to wait and see until the next episode. But if you guys did enjoy this, be sure to drop a thumbs up on this video. I had a ton of fun making this for you guys. I look forward to the conference finals on Wednesday. We will look forward to seeing you guys then. But as always, I hope you guys have a good one and stay dusty.